All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you how to take this and turn it into this, a portable 12 volt battery pack. Stay tuned. That's coming up right now. Double digit so let's go ahead and talk about some of the things you need for this project. First thing you're going to need is a BMS board. Now this stands for battery management system board. This is a 3S board. We are going to want a 3S for this particular project. Uh, you can get these right off Amazon, eBay, Banggood, a couple other places. I'll have some links down in the description down below to purchase any of these pro products if you want them. Now you're also going to need an 18650 battery case like this. Uh, you can solder directly to the batteries if you want, but this is nice because you can replace any batteries as they go bad. So I always like these. And with that, you're going to want some 18650 batteries. Now these ones are nice because these do have battery protection circuits in them. So I always recommend those if you're going to be going this route. You're going to want some copper strand wire. Now this is 16 gauge copper wire, which will fit with this particular application. But make sure you check to make sure that the gauge wire that you use is rated for the type of project that you're going to be doing. All right, let's go ahead and show you this board. First, this is the battery case. If you notice, they have positives and negatives put on this board already. You can also see in here where it says that it is a parallel or series board. The reason why they call it a parallel or series board is because if you look in here closely, there is a negative or positive. This particular battery in the middle could be flipped in the orientation that you want it to to make it either a parallel board or a series board. For this particular build, we're going to be using these positives and negatives and this middle one will be in series so we will be using a negative on this side and a positive on this side. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. If we lay our board down, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over. So we see the positives are on this side, the negatives are on this side. And this is just something really good to get into practice doing. I'm actually going to flip this back over because I like the positive on this side. So I'm going to start with positive over here. And I'm going to mark where all my positives are. So I'm going to have a positive up there, a positive there, and a positive there. I'm also going to mark where all my grounds are going to be. I'm going to have a ground here, a ground here, and a ground here. Now, if we take a look at the battery management board, you're going to see that it has a B plus up here. And if you flip it over, there's a B minus down here. It's important to note because of the way that we hook this up, your B positive is going to be right here. Your B negative is going to be right here. And these two are going to be connected together. And these two are going to be connected together. Now let's talk a little bit about your battery management board before we actually solder anything together. You're going to see a couple things on here. You're going to see B plus and B minus, which we already talked about. And you're going to have B2 and B1. Now these boards, although they're made the same, uh, often these are different. So it might say B1 here, or B2 here, B3, B4, whatever. Uh, what you're going to want to pay attention to is typically the one right next to B positive is going to connect to this right here. So in this case, it says B2. Now, if you said B1, for example, it would most likely connect here. Now, obviously pay attention to the diagram that you have with your board, but typically almost always this goes here. So this should be connected to B2. And this one then would connect to B1. Let's go ahead and start wiring this up so you can see what it looks like. So first thing that I always do is hook up that positive wire first. And so that's what we're gonna do first.
Alright, so the only thing left to hook up to the board is, of course, the negative, which is going to get hooked up here. But I like to hook positive and negative power up on this side, so I'm going to hook that up first. Now you can hook this up on the other side if you want to, but since this part is both used to charge and also to dissipate, this is what you hook up to whatever you're hooking it up to, to power you can actually run two wires off this one off the top and one off the bottom if you want of course you can split that anywhere you want but I'm, I like to wire it off the bottom so I'm gonna do that right now alright everything's hooked up let's go ahead and put in the batteries now remember before I said, you know, one of the things we want to pay attention to is the orientations when you put these in. Now you can see this is positive, so let's go ahead and hook this up as the positive. Now the cap with these are positive and this one as well. So positive is going to go in the opposite direction this time. Now it is important to note that some of these boards actually do have to have a 12 volt source hooked up to it first. So you need to hook it up to the charger before it actually turns it on. Let's go ahead and check and see what this is. All right, there we go. Look at that. We got our 12 volts. So everything's hooked up properly and we are good to go. Now what we need to do is put whatever type of connection you want on these power wires and you're set to go. Guys, is that easy to make one of these battery packs for your particular projects? If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. And if you guys want to support this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell in the corner. That way you get notified on each and every new video that comes out. And if you want to check out my Patreon page to see if you can help out there, please do. As always, guys, I appreciate it. And until next time.